Yes, my people. Una good morning. Una good morning. So today we are going to be talking about life. You know, we are going to be talking about life. If you have been following me for a while, you know I'm a life coach. So today I'm going to be putting my life life coaching at on. Okay. So we are going to be talking about life, and we are going to be using our native daughter brother in Holland as a case study. So we are going to use him as a case study today. So before we start, we want to quote. We want to quote Nipsey Hussle. Okay, this quote was credited to Nipsey Hussle. Okay, being someone that I've been reading for a very long time, even before the death of Nipsey Hussle, Nipsey Hussle, I know that this quote exists. So I feel that this quote was credited to Nipsey Hussle because to keep his memory alive. So let me quote him. He said, Tomorrow you can wake up and the person you love can love somebody else. But a hundred dollar B will still be a hundred dollar B. Listen to this. Even take note. He said, tomorrow you can wake up and the person you love can love somebody else. But a hundred dollar B will still be a hundred dollar B. This is also, let me, let me quote the mafia manager. He said, if you want to be loved by a bigo, if you want to be loved by a bigo, that is the mafia manager in his book. So, I saw a obo, okay, the native daughter behaving like a little baby, okay? He's behaving like a little baby. It's like someone crying for love, okay? It's like someone crying for love from this woman, okay? I mean, it's very close to 50. For him to be still be behaving like a little baby for me, it's a shock. You understand? It's a shock. For me, he has what they call insecurity problem. First of all, if he's a camera in his house to know what his, the wife is doing, that is insecurity problem. You understand? If you have insecurity problem, go and speak to a therapist or you can come and speak to people like us so that we can advise you on what to do with your insecurity problem. Not only that, he got home, okay, he got home, he chased his wife, he chased his wife outside with a baby, a newborn baby. That baby is not, I don't think that baby is up to four months or five months. He chased his wife out of his own house, according to him, with a new baby on the street of Amsterdam. On the street of Amsterdam. As I'm talking to you now, yesterday I was coming home the whole car was freeze. You know when you open freeze, everything go. When you open freeze, everything go freeze. That that was what I saw yesterday coming home. And for someone like Obo, native daughter, to chase his wife and a little baby that is not even up to five months on a boogie on the street of Amsterdam in this cold that they are quoting that this cold probably will be one of the worst cold we will experience in Europe. Okay, because they said last last winter was not too bad. But so this code is compensating for what happened last winter. So it's one of the coldest winter we are going to experience in Europe. And you chase your wife and a little baby on the street of Amsterdam because of insecurity. Because of insecurity. Okay, you see, I I tried to advise this guy before this uh, native daughter of Bo. He, years ago he blocked me. You understand? Most of these people, especially people like Native Daughter, they have big platform with thousands of viewers. Then you now imagine where are they getting their information from? This this knowledge they are teaching people. Where are they getting it from? If they can still be behaving like a little shy, like me, I read from what I read. I I, I, I that's where I get my knowledge. Where I read books. Where's Native Daughter getting his knowledge from? Because the way he's behaving now, he's behaving like a little shy. And this is one of the reasons. Why most women, why most women will not settle? Why most women will not get married? Because they see this attitude of some men, especially men like native daughter, that has little problem with his wife. He chases his wife and a newborn baby on the street of Amsterdam in the coldest weather. This is the reason. And he said the wife is from Benue. I dated a Benue girl for two years in Northern Cyprus. It was one of the best experiences. 
You understand? So, your behavior to this woman now and this baby now, and other women are looking. People from Benue are looking at, they say, This is a, you are an Edoma, and I'm, I'm an Edoma. Just see what an Edoma is doing to their, their sister. How will you think they are going to feel? How will you feel, think they are going to feel you treating their sister like that? You are, you are like a little baby. We uh, say, Don't play with my toy. This is my house. Leave my house. And you went for that to say you marry her because she's matured. Because she's matured. You understand? Let me, let me, I can tell this to you for free. Women, it doesn't matter if they are 60 or 80. There's still a little girl inside them. Just as you as a man, there's still a little boy inside you. Okay? What makes you a man is, is your maturity. You understand? It's your maturity. If you, if you think you want to play this uh, child, children's game with that woman... Thinking she's, she's a mature woman. You are going to lose. Okay? You are, you, are, you are going to lose. And you say you are going to Nigeria to go and enjoy yourself. After you have thrown your wife and a newborn baby on the street of Amsterdam inside cold. So you think, you, are, you, are, you already said it that the brother have already told you to bring the sister back to, to them. So you, didn't, you know you have this plan to drive the sister. You didn't drive her in Nigeria. Yeah, it could be easy. For our family, the father or the mother to come and take her from you in Lagos Day. You brought her to Amsterdam to come and chase her out of your house. Anything that happened to that woman and that child is your responsibility. Okay, you better grow up, Mr. Native Doctor. You better grow up. Let me quote uh, Said Guru so that you can listen. Said Guru said, It is still difficult to control yourself, talk less of trying to control. Another human, another person, it is still difficult to control yourself rather than trying to control another human. Yesterday, there's something that was, I was like the thing, I want to eat it. I was hungry to get eat the thing. I don't want to eat it, but I forced myself because my my my, my emotion or my, my body crave, 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 craving this thing overcome my sense of reasoning. I went to eat that thing. After I ate that thing, I regret it. But the point is that as human, it's still difficult for us. Sorry, as individuals, it's still difficult for us to control ourselves. Talk less of trying to control someone else. Okay, you are trying to control a, a, a woman. When you know that controlling yourself is still difficult. That's the point uh, Saguru is trying to make there. You are trying to control, uh, control this woman. The only thing you can control is yourself and your action. That's the only thing you can control. The only thing you can control is yourself and your action and leave the rest for God. Okay? And, uh, 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 Mr. Native Doctor, you, you always come here to mock John Osage anytime uh, with his relationship and everything. You see, mocking someone with a relationship is a very bad thing. It's a very bad thing. I think probably someone like Mr. Abbott will be watching and someone like a Piranomigo should be watching. Mocking someone with a relationship is like mocking someone that just lost their child. You understand? Because you never know what is going to happen. You never know what is going to happen. You Today, you may think your relationship is rosy. Tomorrow, it may be bad. You understand? Like, let me quote me see also again so that you understand my point. He said, tomorrow you can wake up and the person you love can love somebody else. But a hundred dollar bill will still be a hundred dollar bill. The mafia manager said, if you want to be loved by a big o. Let me go back to my point. In our farm in Nigeria, we have top 10 security dogs. Now, top 10 security dogs or nine. Now we have nine. We have the Rottweiler. We have the Dobama. We have the Jama Shepherd. We have the Babo. We have uh, we have the Boom Steve. We have the Ken Castle. You understand? We have different breeds. We have Pitbull. You understand? Those are my dogs. As I wake up now, probably call to my farm. Those dogs cannot tell me, say, oh God, I don't want to get, I don't want to be with you again. Because they are my property. You understand? But the point I try to make to you now, woman is not your property. Okay, woman is not your property. So if love they sweet today, don't mock other people's relationship because you don't know what will happen tomorrow to your home. 
Okay, I know in Edo Saba space, we make a lot of money mocking people about their relationship. We, we, we have turned it to an industry. But I'm telling you, ma to ma, this directly to people like Eparanomigo, people like Abatobaze, and you, even uh, native daughter Obo, the way you people are mocking John Osage with his, with, her, with his own relationship. Look at you now. Look at you now. Your own. You, you are, you are, you are being, your own, your own situation is even worse than John Osage. You, know? you have thrown your wife and a newborn baby inside the cold in Europe, inside highs, inside freezer. You are telling her to go and seek Aduro. Now you won't tell her what to do. Bro, I'm telling you, number one, you are, you are, you are disgracing a dumb man. So, because Nana, all the Benue women now, they will be looking at us and say, is this how a dumb man behave? Is this how they behave like little children? I don't care. Let us stay with you. you go, I don't know whether it's cheating or not cheating or what Nana, you want to do DNA, whatever it is. Don't do this thing on social media. Off those camera, negotiate with her and let you guys separate peacefully. You said you are, you are the only one that is always bringing the uh, matter to social media because you want her to bring the, the matter to social media. It shows that in this relationship, she is more mature than you, Obo. She has brain more than you because she don't want her relationship. I'm married to be on social media. Now you want her for social media because you'll be small picking. You are, you are a child. You are a baby. Okay? If you are not mature enough, Look at Obona, he's almost 50. And he's acting like a spoiled little child. Leave my house. Leave my house with your baby. This is my house. I bought this house. With a baby. Uh, he behaving like a baby. A mother is almost 50 years old. Okay? That is to tell you that getting into a relationship, maturity is not age. Maturity is not age. Maturity is not age. We have to learn this today. Maturity is not age. The, at the age of 50, Obona is still behaving like a little baby. Chasing... The wife and a, a, a little baby on the street. Give those give that child one hour. The, the it, that child will be frozen like that child will be frozen to death. I'm telling you now. You better look for a solution either to put them in the hotel or look for a way. You know she she just come to Europe. She don't know anybody here. Look for a way for her because anything that happened to her and that baby, don't think you can go to Nigeria and go and enjoy yourself because the brother is going to come for you. I'm just telling you. As an Edoma and as a brother. Okay? So as we round up this video. So as we round up this video, we, we uh, let's summarize what we have learned. Okay, let's summarize what we have learned. Like I said, you can you can name uh, you can wake up the woman you love, whether that woman you they like or whether that man you they like, they say they don't like you again. But an hundred dollar B, what does that mean? An hundred dollar B can mean anything. I use my dogs to give example. It can mean a business. Okay, you can set up a business. Your business cannot wake up tomorrow and say they don't love you anymore. Okay, so the one thing I want us to take from this video is the advice from the mafia manager. He said, if you are looking for love, go and buy a dog. That's what uh, Tony Robbins also said. If you are looking for love, go and buy a big o. Don't be looking for love from a woman. Don't be looking for love from a human. Okay? By 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 by, by wanting a woman or anybody to, to love you, you are giving them too much power to control you, to control your life. You understand? That's why you have to speak to a therapist or speak to people like us that are life coach to advise you more about life. You know, giving someone that power to love you, you are giving them too much power. You understand? If you are looking for love, go and buy a dog. Leave woman alone. If you know you are insecure, you have insecurity problem, go and speak to a therapist or stay away from a relationship. Okay? My brother, Mr. Obo, that's it for today. My name is Victor Vince. Like you said, like you see now, I'm a life coach. I'm a life coach. I'm also a business coach. I'm also a financial literacy teacher. My degree is in accounting. And I'm also a leadership coach. What they call executive life coach. Thanks for watching and do have a productive day.